guys, my name is Ehsas and if you're back on my channel, that must mean you find me interesting. So, today's topic is basically industry and nepotism. Just the cyclone after the death of Sushant Singh Rajput has been going on for a while now. And I am very excited that today's guest is she is very close to the industry, be it, Oliver, uh, be it Bollywood or Tollywood. She is very, very close to the industry and she knows what is happening there. She is a TV anchor and a radio jockey. She is an amazingly famous radio jockey and I am glad to have her on my channel. Her name is Shelly Ganguly. You might know her as RJ Shelly. So let's talk to her and let's find out what she has to say. Hey Shalidi, so my very first question to you is you are one of the most gracious uh, RJs out there. I've seen you do your work and I've heard you on the radio. So what inspired you to become an RJ? Gracious, gorgeous goodness. <laughs> that is a compliment and I really really appreciate. Thank you so much first of all for calling me gracious. My friends think I'm totally jolly and I am nothing close to the word which you just mentioned, gracious, but thank you so much. But honestly, I want to say a truth. Like, there's a dialogue in a movie, I think, Ay Dil Hai Mushkil, jab, no, I think Rockstar. Sorry, Rockstar. So I think when your heart breaks, then you start making sense and you start thinking really good for yourself. That is what happened in my life. I was in Miss India 2009. I was the finalist, regional finalist. And then I made it to uh, top 25, but it never worked out for me. I'm a big food I like to eat. And somewhere or the other, wo mere mein nahi tha. Toh, wo nahi hua. that never worked out for me. But then again, uh, 2008, there was a new station which was coming up. And 2009, they were looking for a fresh voice. and. You know, in 2009, the digital version started to uh, appeal to people and then people started looking for a job who is equally presentable, also can you know, rule the digital world, can be seen you know, uh, properly and stuff like that. That is what I was briefed long back in 2009. So I said, let's go for it. I started as a cricket jog, honestly. I, was, I used to give cricket comments and during IPL, I started my journey. It was super fun to be one such but trust me in my life it wasn't planned at all it wasn't planned at all and I think jo log hume dekh rahe, mujhe dekh rahe, aapko dekh rahe, mujhe aapka bhi pata hai. in fact you are one girl who always you know picks up every opportunity everything that comes up on her way so I think that's how it should be I think hume sochna nahi chahi. of course we need to be focused but again we should try, we should give it a try to everything which comes on your way and trust me, it works. Dil se aap karoge, aap man se karoge, aap chahat hogi, to I'm sure you're gonna rule every field, every work, everything you do if you do it with passion. So that's what inspired me actually. My passion, my love, my uh, love to live a life where I will be happy, to do something which will make me happy every single day and that really worked for me and I think my con hote hi mere me a energy a jata and I really enjoy doing it and I love, I loved of doing what I was doing for last 12 years. My second question might be a little controversial but you have really seen the industry like real up close be it the Tollywood or the Bollywood. So what do you think about like what side do you have on the whole nepotism cyclone which is which has been going on for a while now after Sushant's death? Khushi, I think thank you for taking up this uh, topic, you know, because I this is another thing what I love about your conversations with particular guests. You know, last uh, episode I, 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 I saw you, you know, the conversation was about depression and it was so so much you know it's so much helpful for people who are watching us so nepotism is something let me just go back and let me share my experience what i felt and what i dealt with i think that would make sense rather talking about bollywood or tollywood or uh, or any corporate house i worked out in a corporate house for 12 years i started when i was 20 i was a kid i was an outsider as in i wasn't uh, i was not from the city you know 
so uh, back there you know i was i was in a family i was i belong from a very influential family in guwahati you know where my parents hold a share of power or kind of history they have we have you know so i never got to enjoy that because i thought of you know moving out from my comfort zone and starting all over again in a new city in a new way that's that's what i always loved doing it and I, as you know you know previously i told you i always believed in following my passion and love for my work so then what happened after uh, joining this particular radio station i was an outsider so my bangla wasn't that strong i was i was from guwahati northeast and my asmus hindi and bangla wasn't strong as in people here in kolkata felt it wasn't strong i felt yes of course i i'm very i'm very careful about whatever language i'm uh, you know agar main hindi mein baat kar rahi hu to it has to transitions ko leke halaki maine on air mein kabhi galat bangla nahi bola hai kabhi bhi nahi but then again when i used to interact with my friends here with my colleagues they used to laugh behind my back you know they used to pretend as if i'm like side ho jao bhai you don't belong here i have faced it it's not only nepotism it's groupism it's it's about being powerful i mean it's about being powerful and trust me it comes with money and everything a lot of things so i never used my parents influential status or my parents money monetary status to influence people out here i thought i will make my own mark but then again i cried there were nights when my pillow used to be all रोते रोते पूरा गीला हो जाता था आई हैव वो कप विथ सोलन आईज विथ विथ सोलन आईज यू नो बिकॉज आई वॉज क्राइंग द होल नाइट आई हैव गॉन थ्रू नाइट मेर एंड आई वुड नॉट शाई अवे फ्रॉम शेयरिंग दिस विथ योर शेयर ऑफ ऑडियंस विथ पीपल वो आर वॉचिंग आज दैट यू नो आई हैव गॉन थ्रू डिप्रेशन आई हैव बीन थ्रू डिप्रेशन एंड इट्स नॉट वेरी फार लाइक बहुत साल पहले कुछ साल पहले भी आई वॉज आई वॉज इन टू अंडर ट्रीमेंडस डिप्रेशन यू नो बिकॉज एक्सेप्टेंस नहीं था मुझे अपना जगह बनाने के लिए हालांकि 10 साल लग गए मेरी जगह कोई और लड़की होती जो इन्फ्लुएंशल फैमिली से बिलोंग करती होती या तो उसके पेरेंट्स अगर ऑलरेडी फेमस कोई है इंडस्ट्री में काम कर रहे हैं बहुत सालों से बीट रेडियो इंडस्ट्री टॉलीवुड फिल्म इंडस्ट्री और दैट बिग शॉट कॉरपोरेट टाइकून तो शायद उनके लिए ये काफ़ी ईजी बट अगैन थिंकिंग अ हेड ऑफ योर टाइम इज डिफिकल्ट thinking beyond your boundaries is ruthless thinking 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 something different is not acceptable still in the society and why so and this is where nepotism plays a big big role aaj maine ek video dekha tha hali mein i don't remember kahan pe dekha tha ki doctor ka beta doctor banta hai doctor advocate ka bachcha advocate banta hai teacher ka बेटा टीचर बनता है फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वहाँ पे सिर्फ बेटा सन मेंशन किया हुआ था इट कुड बी डॉटर ऑल्सो एनी वे आई डोंट केयर अबाउट दैट वीडियो बिकॉज आई फील द कॉन्टेंट इज इन सफिशेंट इनफ बट देन अगेन आई फील डॉक्टर का बेटा डॉक्टर कैसे बनता है विथ प्रॉपर एजुकेशन उसको पढ़ाई करनी होती है उसका एजुकेशन कंप्लीट करनी होती है एंड देन ही बिकम्स अ डॉक्टर राइट easiest part is like इफ हिज पेरेंट्स आर इक्वली एन इस्टेब्लिश डॉक्टर इट बिकम्स ईजी फॉर दैट for the for the, for the boy and the girl is like agar wo apna clinic kholna chahe ya kahi pe jaake he want to practice it becomes easier for a uh, for an advocate's uh, child or for a for an um, for a doctor's kid it become easy because to practice because they uh, you know he's he's familiar with the entire procedure uske parents help karte hai to you know move forward but in case of acting i have just one point if you are not good enough if you prove that you're not good enough in your first film second film third film fourth film fifth film how come you're getting offers just because your parents are famous just because your parents are good enough for you to uh, you know for you to help you know they they help you to survive in the long run so which i personally feel is absolutely wrong i think there are a lot of students there are a lot of film school students who are struggling every single day paying rent in expensive cities i think they are equally good enough it just that unko thodi grooming ki zarurat hai aajkal ke bachche waise bhi bahut zyada groomed hote hai like look at you kushi you are so groomed you know you know what you want in your life so i think chance milna equal chance milna is very important that is where i have I I feel you know equal chances मिलना बहुत important है क्योंकि एक time में आज से दस साल पहले मुझे भी किसी ने 
बिल्कुल नई थी फ्रेशर थी बट देन अगेन दैट पर्सन सॉ दैट यू नो दैट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सॉ समथिंग इन मी एंड दे गिवन मी दैट चांस माय शेयर ऑफ चांस एंड देन टुडे आई एम हियर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट लॉर्ड ऑफ थिंग्स सो आई थिंक नेपोटिज्म के खिलाफ मैं हूँ यू कैंट हेल्प इट अगेन इट्स देर यू हैव टू जस्ट लिव विद इट बट देन अगेन उसे आप कहीं ना कहीं रोक सकते हो इफ़ यू चेंज योर मैंटेलिटी इफ़ यू चेंज योर इफ़ यू चेंज द वे यू थिंक आई थिंक दैट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट I really know, need to know this one. Uh, share your most hilarious yet chaotic experience as an RJ. Like I know you might have some crazy stories. So what is it? Oh my God, there are many. I life button दबा के मैं on air चली गई. मतलब life button दबा के मुझे लगा कि मैं off air हूँ. मैं बोलने लग गई. Yes, I did. That was my first liner on air. I don't know. I have done some stupid and crazy mistakes. Like uh, match chal raha hai. I I I told you I started as a cricket jock. You know I started giving uh, cricket score updates. So you know match khatam ho gaya. Mujhe utna idea nahi tha. Next morning I was replacing another morning jock. It was a big break for me again. You know doing the morning show, breakfast show, and then uh, wahan pe highlights chal rahe the. Or maine mujhe laga ke India ka match ho raha hai. So I was very excited. I was score updates de rahi thi. Then my phone aaya. Boss ka Shelly, will you just shut up because इट्स हाई लाइट्स गोइंग ऑन इट्स नॉट द मैच मुझे लगा कि मैं जमीन को एकदम लाइक मी डिग होल एंड गेट इन साइड गेट इन साइड दी अर्थ एंड नेवर कम बैक सो या देर लॉर्ड ऑफ थिंग्स विच इज हैपन देर लॉर्ड ऑफ टाइम्स यू नो वेन शिखर धवन के एम एंड यू नो आई आई इंटरव्यू शिखर धवन एंड देन आई वॉज लाइक दैट्स री बैड ऑफ मी दैट यू नो आई वॉज लाइक आई वॉज आस्किंग हिम कॉन्स्टेंटली अवर सचिन तेंदुलकर सचिन तेंदुलकर एंड ही इज लाइक एंड पोलार्ड वॉज ऑल्सो देर इट्स ड्यूरिंग आई पी एल एंड देन पोलार्ड इज लाइक यू नो मेरे कान के सामने आके बोला सचिन तेंदुलकर यू लाइक सचिन तेंदुलकर आई सी आई लाइक सचिन तेंदुलकर आई हैव डन सच थिंग्स एंड आई थिंक दैट्स द ब्यूटी ऑफ Um, of a person, of 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 any boy or a girl who is learning, you know, who is learning and then implementing the same thing, same experiences in his or her job. I think that's the beauty, that's the innocence of every every profession, you know. सीखना, गलतियाँ करना, mistakes करना. I think that's a good thing. We learn from our mistakes. So yes, there are a lot of chaotic things which I have done, which has created a lot of chaos. especially in my boss's head or my senior's uh, head so yeah i have done a lot if i might ask what is the flip side of being an archer ah there's always the other side okay there's always the there is always the other side there's always a flip side to every profession i think ek time mein agar aap mujhe yahi sawal aaj se back like you know aaj se 6 7 saal pehle aap by the way 10 saal ho gaya matlab ye nahi ki meri Oh, you know, I started quite young. I started when I was twenty, as I said. So whatever, you know. So the flip side is like, if you ask ten years, five years ago, first, I would ask you this: that being an RJ is a flip side. It is that you can go anywhere. You are famous. You have fans, but then again, people don't recognize you. But things have changed now. So the digital world has taken over, honestly. So I think. Mm, that's another reason why I uh, I just thought of taking a sabbatical. I thought of you know quitting radio for some time and explore other industries. Simultaneously, खैर मैं काम कर रही थी, TV में काम कर रही थी. I work as a TV presenter. I still work as a TV presenter. So um, the flip side, अभी RJ बनने का वही पहले टाइम में था अभी नहीं है अभी digital version हो गया. So people get to see you. People know what you're doing, what you look like. So there's no flip side as of now. But that's fun. That's fun. Like you know, interact with lot of people. You know, you interact. You call them up. You get callers from different places. Dur dur se you get callers, and they talk to you. They share your heart out. They spill your heart out. I think that's the beauty of this profession. You can be someone's friend. You are not a celebrity. You are a friend. Jo accessible hai. Jise aap tune in kar sakte ho, aap baat kar sakte ho, and then you are that friend who actually give advices and actually flips people's lives. So I think that's the beauty of this profession. Lastly, any words of wisdom for all the you know people who you inspire on a daily basis, and something for my channel. I am not wise enough, but like the way you said. Uh, words of wisdom i think try 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 until till you success don't worry about making mistakes you learn from your mistakes and you have to follow your heart i think i have followed my heart and it's not only about being an rj or being a radio presenter tv presenter anchor mc stage performer it's also 
it is it also applicable on your personal life you know in your real life i'm talking about your personal life you have to follow your heart you need to follow your heart you need to follow your heart you should keep you should always try and tell your brain shut up let me listen to my heart make your heart your best friend and everything's gonna work trust me so yes do good be good and be honest always share your heart out and spill the truth i personally believe don't lick anyone's legs toes sounds gross i think it's is it allowed you can edit it but anyway you don't have to you don't have to do chamchagiri trust me you can be a strong personality if you place your opinions every time every given time place your opinion say what is in your heart and be true to yourself if not to anyone else just be true to yourself thank you so much shalini for coming on my channel it was truly a pleasure to have you i am glad that i was able to get you to do this interview i know you have a very tight schedule and it was truly an honor to have an interview with you because your perspective your uh, words are truly inspirational to some and many more thank you so much khushi it was amazing amazing chatting with you khushi has got two names ehsas and khushi i think that's beautiful mujhe ehsas hua ki aap kitni khoobsurat hai from inside outside and also aap se baatein karke mujhe bada khushi bahut khushi mili nice yeah thank you so much hey guys thank you so much for watching this video if you like it please press that like button press that subscribe button to watch more of these videos in the future press that bell icon to never miss another update from me and share as much as possible because you love me i love you anyway if you guys want more of these do you know suggest some in the comment section down below i have linked all my social media in the description box below and the link to my previous vlog is also in the description box below so be sure be sure to check it out and don't miss another update from me i'll see you guys in my next video bye bye take care sayonara why am i looking at you you're a picture in a frame